artist. How do you draw inspiration from that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dumb, you can, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't, it's cool. He's, I, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, that was, uh, Jimmy Butler, 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 it was, I don't know what this is, he's gonna pay me very handsomely. Um, we're gonna move this down because, you know, it's not Nirvana water. Um, you know, we're not gonna pay. Um, the uh, it's gonna be easy. I think we, we have really good players, you know, we lost some really good players, and uh, we gained some really good players. You put people out there that really know how to play the game the right way and are, are just in it just to win. It's going to be easy to pick up and um, just start hooping and playing basketball the way that we want to play.
best man ever. Uh, a great, great coach uh, for years. I'm uh, 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 so happy to be here. How do you think it will be with you playing next to the guy? You're there to play like pick up stuff together and it's so easy to play with. You can do everything. Uh, you can almost be positioned, so you know, it's just you know, perfect. Uh, you're such a good passer. Uh, you know, offense just kind of out each other, so uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. You've always been a good corner three shooter. Uh, the way that this team plays offense, they tend to create a lot of those looks. Is this something you're looking forward to? Most well, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> On that same topic, we all know how selfless you are as a player. A scout has said that, that you contributing toward winning, defending, far more important to you ever than shooting. That said, here, Spo obviously encourages guys with three-point shooting skills to take those threes. Do you feel like you need to be, I don't know, more assertive taking those when open? And will that be your mindset? Definitely. I've been for years, so I was dancing on this bus as well. Uh, you know, the open shots are better for us, so uh, I'm excited for the opportunity to be able to play here. They move the ball so well. Uh, the ball always has open guys, so uh, that's something that you look forward to as a player. How the added bulk you think is going to help you defensively, and then how it's going to help you from an offensive standpoint? Yeah, um, I think it'll help, like you said, on both ends of the floor. You know, I'll be able to you know, just stay in front of my man easier, you know, keep, keep everyone in front of me. Um, you know, offensively, obviously, being able to take bumps. You know, just my durability throughout the season, I want to be able to you know, be on the floor and be available as much as I can. So, you know, adding, adding some you know, strength and muscle to my, to my frame is really important as well. I think a big challenge also was having come off of the bubble. You know, we had experienced being connected to the, to the best of the, uh, you know, the capabilities and what we had in the bubble. Just from a synergy standpoint, was special. And then to then shift to the regular season, you know, I think that a lot of people were kind of struggling. Kind of wrestling with that. And all of us were like, well, why can't we just call it what we have? It doesn't always work like that. And, and we learned that. Um, but, you know, the reality is I, I think we grew a lot uh, individually. And I think also have a very clear perspective of kind of what is required this year to all get on the same page. Um, and, you know, last year, like I said, I'm not making any excuses. Everybody was going through this in the past, but there are definitely challenges that came with I would say the big match are Embiid and Jokic uh, have been the latest ones. We have been just passing the ball. Embiid has had this have dominance on both ends. Um, but, you know, the mid-post area and learning you know, how to I guess get to your spots and also being able to you know, knock down um, that the, the post turnarounds or face ups or you know any kind of shots. Um, that has been a lot of you know, a lot of film on um, Embiid and Jokic. Have you spent any time with Alonzo Mourning since you've been here? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, you know he comes in and you know you know watch me play and gives me uh, words of wisdom and it's been really helpful. You know, dominated this time. And, uh, Team added Kyle Lowry over the summer. Obviously, it projects as one that's going to be elite defensively. How do you feel you can fit into the rotation of a team that's just going to be filled with dogs on defense? I mean, that's that, that's that's natural for me. Getting after defensively, like uh, I take it personal every time somebody scores on me, so that's natural. So, so I'm gonna feel right in. That, I think I can be the best defender for sure. For sure so yeah. It's obviously not an easy road to make your way in the NBA. It's clear how much he thought of you in terms of trading three second rounders for you. Has anyone here given you a pep talk this summer? Pat Riley, Spo, someone just to keep your spirits up? You know, because it's not always, it's going to be rocky sometimes. Oh yeah, every single one of them, you know what I mean? And that's the best part about being here, you know what I mean? And I love, I love, I love that there's ups and downs and sometimes, my, sometimes I'm going through it, but I'm always every day. I'm positive. I mean, that's just that's just the person I am. I'm always. I always. It is what it is. And uh, if you handle it, you, know, you worry about the things you control. So, he shot the ball at a high level at pretty much every level except here. What, what, what is? What do you think is going to be the difference to maybe get you kind of into the mid 30s, maybe consistently from three? Yeah, I mean, I think most of my career I've shot what I've shot, uh, except for the last couple seasons here. And, um, I think the numbers always balance themselves out and always average out, so it's not necessarily something I'm uh, particularly worried about. I think a lot of them will just be shot selection and uh, obviously being comfortable with what we're doing and 
conversation. You're a, a mature, grounded guy, so you don't have to be told to look at what Kyle Lowry does. But is that something you're planning to do, just Absolutely. to study everything he does that's made him so successful? Absolutely. I mean, he's one of the best guards in the game today. Uh, you know, he's probably the, the greatest rapper, Raptor. So, I mean, he's got a great resume so far, and I'm just looking forward to seeing it up close and personal and, and competing with him every day. Training camp starts tomorrow, man. That's, I mean, it don't get much more exciting than that. You know what I'm saying? Once training camp's here, it's, the ball is rolling. So, we got 82 games, uh, however many we got, and then get ready for these playoffs. I saw your brother tweeted that you're going to have a great year. Uh, what, what gives him the confidence that this is the right place for you or the right time for you to, to really have um, a I think familiarity. Uh, I've been coming here, we both been coming here playing pickup last five years, so I kind of really know the players. I know Pat, Spaw, and all these guys. Um, just the way they play, man. That's it. Uh, this one we needed for me to do those type of things for us to win. So, um, like you said in the beginning, the versatility is going to be showing a lot more than I have done in my past year because my position was needed out of me was different. Um, I think it's one of those teams where I can show more, show what I've been doing early in my career. Had the Heat pursued you at all previously, or was this the first time in free agency you engaged uh, with them? We'll keep that uh, under wraps. <laughs> so had, things happened. Uh, you know, I won a championship with the Vegas two years ago, so I thought you know that was, that was the best spot for me at the time. But just to say, put it like this, eventually we knew it was going to happen. For you mentally and emotionally to have to kind of build yourself back up from the beginning, Health-wise, contract-wise, all of that to get back to where you were. How hard is this process? Yeah, it's been really tough. You know, it's been hard, but you know, uh, I feel like you know God puts his, his toughest soldiers to the toughest of battles. So for me, you know, this is uh, another battle in the books for me. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to to show my resiliency. Give the opportunity, and I don't have one of the, the best comeback stories ever. So I just try to make the most of my situation. It's easy to just quit or be mad or be upset about it or say, "Oh, it's me." But that's not really solving the problem. Uh, I know there's a lot of eyes watching, um, so you know, hopefully I can be a vessel for them and show them that they can get through anything if they really put their mind to it as well. Honestly, like when you guys find out, I find out too. It's like we're all on the same boat here. There, there have been comments made, I think, on ESPN analysts and others saying that the surgery simply was not done correctly the first time. Just to clear that up, is that accurate? Was it done wrong the first time? Um, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't, I have to go in depth, but you know, essentially, it just uh, wasn't the right version for me. You know, to, to be honest with you, and then. And, it didn't give me my best opportunity to, to to get my leg back to where it needs to be. You know, things are different now. I'm optimistic about it. And I'm uh, from an on-the-court perspective, obviously, with the additions you guys made over the summer, specifically Kyle Lowry, you know, obviously, uh, P.J. Tucker, Marquise Morris, how do you feel, you know, this team can perform now before and after you do come back? Just in general, how do you project this team and how successful you guys can be? I think we're going to be really successful. Not there in London. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you both. <laughs> Come whenever. March, April, playoffs beyond. There's potential of a five man group of you, PJ, Bam, Jimmy, Kyle. And we know, obviously, all you guys can score. But from a defensive standpoint, Vic, what could that lineup be? My goodness, it would seem like a formidable defensive quintet. Yeah, it could be. It could be something very special about that. Um, I think it's, I mean, the guys who just name speak for themselves. Um, Kyle, Dan, everybody. From Duncan, Tyler, everybody is going to be needed. Yeah, I mean, you can really do something special here. Uh, everyone has to just you know, be themselves. You know, and just keep the main thing the main thing.
go to? Um, well, somebody asked me to sing a song, they'd probably be like, What a day it has been. What a rare mood it be. Why it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human Why it's almost like being Background. Um, I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to be a part of the um, organization. You know, I don't, the culture thing is, I guess, that's just what you guys, everyone down here. So, <laughs> you know, so I'm excited to be a part of the organization and go out here and uh, do my job at a high level and, uh, you know, try to make some noise.